On the recommendation of top U.S. health officials giving out the single-dose Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine, it's been put on pause, and that includes here in Massachusetts. Thanks for joining us, everyone. On this Tuesday, I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Jordan Jagelinzer. This comes as a review of six cases of blood clots are now being conducted. We do have team coverage for you this evening. Western Mass News reporter Leon Purvis is standing by with what this means for homebound residents relying on the vaccine. But first, Audrey Russo joins us live in Springfield with more on what investigators will consider in the coming days. Audrey. I spoke with a local microbiologist who says it shouldn't be assumed that the vaccine is the cause of those six serious blood clotting cases. In fact, she said there are a number of factors that those looking into this need to consider and that that's the big question. It is so rare that the incidence is somewhere between five and ten people per million. Of the more than 6.8 million people who have received the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine in the U.S., there have only been six cases of women nationwide reporting a serious blood clotting disorder. Based on the incidence numbers from UMass microbiologist Erica Hamilton, That's actually lower than the general rate of this happening anyway. Still, the Food and Drug Administration and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention are recommending a pause on administering the vaccine. So these six cases can be studied further. So far, officials said the cases have come from women between the ages of 18 and 48. So premenopausal women, and they all had a low platelet count. The clots, which in one case proved deadly, were reported within two weeks of receiving the vaccine. Hamilton tells Western Mass News several factors need to be investigated. There is also a question of uh, use of oral birth control, which does, if you've ever been on oral birth control, you know that it does increase your chances of blood clots. She says other lifestyle and health factors will likely also be compared to see if the women have anything else in common besides just getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. But still, people are calling the Western Mass News Vaccine Authority hotline with concerns. I have and lung disease, so I'm kind of worried about it. Federal health officials say people who got the one-dose vaccine within the last three weeks should monitor for severe headaches, leg and abdominal pain, and shortness of breath. They say to contact your health care provider if you experience these symptoms. For others, the canceled shot clinics across the Commonwealth are slowing the rate of vaccination. Hamilton says of all three vaccines, however, Johnson & Johnson is the most stable. It lasts for several months in the refrigerator. State health officials say that as far as they know, none of those six cases were linked to Massachusetts. Federal health officials are saying that they believe this pause on giving out the Johnson & Johnson vaccine will only last for a few days. Live in Springfield, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.